Hi, I'm Vicki Chelf, and I'm the author of Vicki's Vegan Kitchen. And I'm going to show you how to make a cream of courgette soup. And a courgette is just the French word for zucchini. And this is a really simple soup again. And uh, only three main ingredients. We're going to use the zucchini, some chopped onions, and some cashews, which is going to make the cream. And um, besides that, we'll have some seasoning, some savory leaves, or any kind of herbal seasoning that you like we can use, and some white miso for both the flavor and the therapeutic benefits from the probiotics. So all we have to do, we wash the zucchini. And I scrub them a bit because sometimes they're sandy, especially these organic field-grown zucchini that have so much more flavor. So we're going to put it in a pan. And this was, um, again, a few more, a few less is not going to make a difference, but we had about six to eight uh, small, sort of medium small zucchini, about like that. So, you know, if you have larger ones, you use less. And it depends, you know, how much you want to eat, how many people you are. So we're going to throw the onions in. This is um, about one large onion. The cashews don't go in. Uh, we'll throw some savory in. A teaspoon or so. Put on the lid. And we, I, I've got about four cups of filtered water in here. And we're just going to put it on to boil. Bring it to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and it'll take five, 10 minutes, something like that, until the zucchini are nice and tender. Okay, well, the soup is done. The zucchini are cooked for the courgette. So I'm just gonna ladle some into a blender. If you have a Vitamix or a nice, big, huge blender, you can do this all in one batch, but we've got a normal little blender here. So it'll take a couple of batches. So here's the water that they cooked in. So we're going to use that, ladle it into the blender. And oops, oh, well, we'll pick that up later. Um, little extra water. And I'm just gonna put a handful of these raw cashews. And if you have salted cashews, of course, you'll just have to adjust the salt in the recipe accordingly. Gonna add some miso. Nice tablespoon of miso, let it blend up with the cashews. And when you buy cashews or nuts of any kind, make sure to smell them or taste them before you leave the store. So often nuts are rancid and you don't want that. Learn, learn what the smell of rancid foods are and protect yourself because they're everywhere. And keep them, keep cashews in your fridge. That way, all nuts, keep all nuts in your refrigerator and that way they'll stay fresh. So put it on the blender and turn it on. Okay, now the second batch is nicely blended. I like white pepper, so I'm going to add a little bit, about a half teaspoon. I'm going to put some savory in earlier, I think. Let's mix this up with the ladle. The spoon is too small. And if you don't eat it immediately, you can heat it up, but since it has miso in it, you don't want to boil. You can eat it immediately if you go pretty fast without heating it up. It's still nice, nice and hot. Or you can heat it up later to eat later, but don't boil it because it has miso in. It's not going to hurt you, but you're going to be destroying the nice probiotic effect of the miso that's so good for you. So let's see what it tastes like. Oh, how about a little garnish? Scallions and parsley.
Mm. Delicious. And voila, creme de courgette. Mm. 